Hallelujah. He saved the best for the last. I felt such a... I've never... I've been to my own wedding before. And I ain't never felt that in my own wedding. Hallelujah. I wouldn't... I would pay a million dollars for that feeling, brother. Praise God. I'm talking about my hair stood out like straw. And the Holy Ghost is crawling down my back. And Sam was saying them vows. And they were repeating them vows. I thought the holiness of God's power. Hallelujah. That's right here. Kiss me off. British Columbia, BC, can I get a great amen? Yeah. 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 Hallelujah, we got the victory. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. I'd like to join you guys again in the future, and I know we're going to be coming back. And uh, this time we just chose just to come to Kispiax because we talked to some of the uh, elders and some of the clergy, and they just told us it's best to stay in one spot. And uh, But we're, we're travelers. We, I traveled 11,000 miles last year on my trip. And uh, this, this time around, we got to this point here, and yesterday we had a great tragedy hit our evangelistic team. I, I, did, I told these brothers and sisters, these are the ones that tutored me. I come in under their ministry under the streets years ago when I was a young chap. I'm 53 now, but I've been saved since I was 18. And I, under their ministry, they, they tutored me, they, they gave me food, they gave me water, they gave me drink, they gave me bed. They were, she, she treated me like my, my, my own mom would treat me, you know? The Bible says when your brother and your sister, your mom, and your, they forsake you, the Lord will take you up. And the Lord has a real family. And, uh, but that big tragedy that hit, you know, they, they, I told them that I feel that they, they need to look after their obligations back home. And I just told them to get the first slide out of Prince George and head on back because, you know, if it was my children that that happened, I'd like to be there too to comfort the people. And they're not saved. What he's talking about, some of these people aren't saved because some of them are backsliders. Some of them are cold. And some of them need the Lord to restore them. And we won't get over because we know the Bible says the righteous is taken for the evil to come. And we know that the little ones are raised up in heaven in a special place. And God's going to protect them. But it's the other ones that aren't saved. That, that one that could commit suicide. Because he's the one that ran them over. Don't you see how the Lord set that up? He took the innocent baby to go to heaven. But the man that ran his own child. You can't blame nobody. And if you can blame anybody. It's himself. You know it's an accident. But it's such a big tragedy in history. So they're flying back tomorrow. And uh, we're going to continue our trip. Brothers and sisters. We're about. 15 more services to go before we get back home to uh, South Carolina. So we're going to be in Vancouver. That's usually the most powerful move. You, it's powerful here because we've got brothers and sisters praying to see God. We've got prayer warriors. We've got ministers. We've got connection with God here. But there's people out there on the streets who got no connection. they got nothing. they got no hope. And, they, and that's what we're trying to bring in this hope. And when we bring that light Hallelujah, you know, we see light right here. But when you cut off all the lights, even a tiny flicker of a cigarette, you can see from miles away. That's the light of Jesus Christ shining out of you. Hallelujah. And what I'm going to do here just in a little bit right here, and I'm not going to try to take up all my long. I'm just going to do what the Lord told me to do. And uh, we've got, uh, what we've got here is we've got some, we've got some uh, anointed oil, which you guys got here, the same thing, anointing oil. But we also got a horn of oil. Praise God. This is a this is similar to how what the prophets used to anoint people with. And then we also got a oil cruise. Bible talks about an oil cruise. And this has been sanctified instruments. These are instruments. That, these ain't as my in fact not mine. I asked Brother Peter to bring them. These these have been blessed by a holy man of God, a man of God that's been praying and fasting in that ministry. I haven't got that ministry. I'm just a believer. That's what I always claim is just a believer. Because but in a few minutes, we're going to anoint you. And how we're going to do it is I want people to come up. And as you come, we're going to just pour a little bit of oil on you. The Bible talks about anointing with oil, but it also talks about a priestly anointing. Yes. Praise God. And God's anointing. And I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel that out of this place right here in Kiss the Ox, I've got no doubt that God is going to anoint some ministers of the gospel. And you know, the whole the holy oil is not to be trifled with. The Bible says. When I first got saved, brother, when I first got saved, brother Antonio wouldn't, but brother wouldn't even anoint me. He said, "I won't put that upon you." He said, "Because 
the Bible showed me the scripture in the Bible, and I might not have time to read it all, but it says, don't even put it on the stranger. But you're not strangers, you brothers and sisters in the Lord. And we done preached here as many times last year and many times in the last, I mean, each one of these people, they've already ministered the gospel. And others, they've all testified, testified, preached, whatever you want to call it. The Bible says the spirit of prophecy is the testimony of Jesus. All what's happened here is Jesus, 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 to bring us closer to Jesus. But I'm telling you, when God anoints you today, you're going to be anointed with a fresh oil. You know, there came a time in the Bible where Jesus said, they came to Jesus and they said they have no wine. I was amazed how, how the brother come up with that song, Create Me a Clean Heart. That was going to be my scripture that I was going to minister on. Create me. You know, I read that song and said that song. I'm going to go on to the next one. The brother talked about the wine in the feast where Jesus stayed up. They ran out of wine. Let's face it, sometimes we run out of wine. Let's face it, sometimes we run out. And we need a refilling. And the king to Jesus said, we have no wine. And what did Jesus do? He multiplied the wine. He turned the water to wine. He made something out of nothing. Hallelujah. And we're just nothing. The Bible talks about the wine and the spirit being like the Holy Ghost. In the oil. It's all the oil of the anointing. You know the man that was the, the man that was fell down by the side of the road, he was beaten. Some of us have taken a beating from the devil. That's right. I talked to several people here. Some of us have been beaten by the devil. Yes, Some of us have been robbed by the devil. Yes. And others have been stripped half naked and left half dead. Yes. And the priest we might pass by on the other side, yeah. leaving him in the gully. Yes. But the man that decided to pick him up, what did he do? Brother, what did he do? Picked him up, oh poured in the oil, yeah. poured in the wine. Yeah. No matter how busy we get with our work, yeah. we've got to take time yeah. to anoint yeah. and minister. Yeah. Who is going to be the greatest is going to be the servant. Yeah. And that's how I feel the Lord all over me. Hallelujah. I'm just so glad to be amongst you guys today. So we're going to anoint you here in a few minutes. But I want to read a couple of scriptures. I know we quoted a lot of scriptures already. And I won't go over the same scriptures we already quoted and read. But I just want to let you guys know what we're doing. We all anoint with oil, like Jesus said. Anoint with oil. The disciples anointed with oil. They cast out devils. We use the prayer cross, the staff. We use anything. But let me tell you, if you can put the Bible tape on... If you could use songs of praise to rebuke the devourer, anything that we can do to tip the scales in our favor, do it. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The devil's got all kinds of